my work is um, based very much on precious private memories, rituals gathered for the first time and uh, the cupped hands of childhood. I came across a, a bundle of goose quills, neatly tied, carefully wrapped by hands, now departed. I deal very much with the repetition of actions, reverberating rituals, the killing of the goose, the reciting of the rosary, the planting of the garden, the hands that craft it, clutching at objects from a familiar world to try and deal with death. I'm a painter. I work with paint primarily, but I suppose now at the moment I'm just kind of working with paint as a prep. And I've just been drawn back to drawing and I haven't done it in a long, long time. I haven't done it since I was in college, so it's nice. I like the kind of the rubbing out and the building up and the, and the different kind of stages of that, you know. Um, I like the, I like the immediacy of it, but you're very close to it. One of the things I suppose I'm trying to capture, and I think that is common to a lot of my stuff, is that, is that kind of moment of tension, anticipation really, maybe more than tension, but that, that moment of anticipation where you're kind of, there's a feeling, there's an kind of settling feeling. But, you know, you're, you're kind of waiting to see what's going to, to happen, at least that's what I'm trying to capture. And that, that moment of tension, you know, between, you know, the, the rope about to break or a bubble about to burst, or even that feeling of distress. You need that release of getting rid of that pain, that upset, or I'm trying to move through, trying to get through it. I work with material that comes directly from the concept of the home, the land and the person. And with familiar things, I free them. It's a way of working that involves laying objects out to study, to deconstruct and to reconstruct new forms from their, their parts. Projecting video recordings, washing the parts of the furniture, back into and onto the object itself simply felt truthful. The process is one of being in tune with this narrative and with this process until a rebirthing. The result of that would be, of course, to provoke some curious associations in the viewer. I suppose my work deals with change. It stems from a point in time where I lost my mother and with that came an awful lot of uh, upset, turmoil, questioning, faith. Um, everything in your life kind of changes, that dynamic changes. So it comes from that place. Is it emergence or is it just disappearing? It's that constant dichotomy that I feel within myself and trying to express that uh, through my visual art. And I think what's wonderful about the community of practice of Kiareth is very simply that it allows us to support one another in our work and we share a lot of similar ideas and from that comes that, that broadening, I suppose, um, allowing you to explore in that safe environment and bring forward other people's ideas and thoughts into your own work as well. Um, and that works always throughout the community of practice. Our mission, I suppose, in a sense, is really to bring this work out into a public forum, but in a discussional way. We, we want to be able to talk around our work. That's the essence of Kiareth and who we are. And as educationalists, that discussion around the work is extremely important for us.